we're going to be talking about how to create a mock-up to where you have your front design and your back design all on one mock-up, man. God, come on now. What is happening, my YT gang? This is your boy Mario, co-founder and designer for Fly Hippie. And today, I'm coming up on here to chop it up with y'all real quick. You dig? We're going to be talking about how to create a mock-up to where you have your front design and your back design all on one mock-up, man. God, come on now. But like I said, it's all about how to create that front design and that back design and putting it all on one mock-up. I had a guy hit me up the other day and he was just pretty much saying, hey man, we love the way you guys do your mock-ups. Is there any information you can give us to where we can do the same? And I felt like I needed to do a video just for you guys, man, in case you had any questions or concerns about how to do the same thing, all right? But before we get into that, make sure you guys go over there and check out the website, www.flyhippieapparel.com. We got a site-wide $5 T deal going on right now. Right now, you did. So make sure y'all go over there and check out the site, man, and purchase something before the sale ends, you did. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video, man. Chee! All right, my YT gang, we are back in the building. What you see before you is a actual mock-up that I have already made, okay? I have the front and the back, actually. And before I get into this, I gotta let you guys know if you have not seen the previous video that I did before this one on how to actually make a mock-up, please go check that out, all right? It shows you the whole breakdown on how to create a mock-up from start to finish, all right? And for the sake of this video, I'm gonna skip all of that and I'm just gonna go right here, okay? We're straight into it. The design is already on the mock-up, front and back. Once you get there, guys, what you wanna do after that you want to just go to files and create a whole new um, page, all right? So I'm going to do 4,000 by 4,000, okay? That's what I usually do in pixels. This is what I put on my site. Now, for anybody that has Shopify, if you do think that this is too big, please let me know because I, I want to make it big enough to where, you know, people can see it, but I don't want to make it too big to where it slows down my actual site. All right, so if you guys think this is too big, please let me know. All right, back to the video. So what we're gonna do now, we got the page ready, okay? This page is, we made this page because what we're gonna do is we're gonna take both of these and we're gonna put them onto this page together, okay? So what we wanna do now, we wanna take this and we want to go to files and we want to export it out, okay? We're gonna save for web. Now, guys, make sure that you have this in a PNG format. And I'm gonna show you guys why later, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. We're gonna do, oh shoot, let me double click. Let's do, let's just do two, okay? I'm gonna save it on desktop, hit save, all right? Once it's saved, all you want to do is you're going to go to the next one and do the same thing, all right? Same step, guys. Okay, guys, so now that we have this page just sitting here by itself, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and open up those um, those two pictures we actually just saved in PNG format, okay? Okay, guys. So now that you have both both of these open, I'm going to show you why you want to have it in PNG format, okay? So we're going to go right over here and hit the quick selection tool. We're going to hover over the whole hoodie. Just cover the whole hoodie, all right? Boom. Now, if, if you did not save this in PNG format, it would have covered the whole entire picture, including the backdrop, all right? The whole white background, and that's not what we want. That's why we like it in PNG format. It's only gonna cover the hoodie. Now, I don't know if you guys have saw that. Let me let me try to back up. I'm gonna do it over, see if we do it again. Okay, so you see how this pops up right here? That means that they did not capture that. So all you gotta do is click hold and just kind of hover over it and it will catch it, okay? So now, 
all you have to do is hit control C we're gonna copy that all right we're gonna come over here and we're gonna hit control V paste it right on there boom look good right guys it's, it's, it's that simple now we're gonna go ahead and get the other one let's go ahead and grab the other one. once you guys copied and paste both of them on the same page all you got to do is adjust it to your liking at this point. You can keep one big, make one small, or you can adjust it however you want to do it. I'm going to make this one just a little bit smaller so you can actually see the flight right there. And just like that, guys, you have a professional mock-up that has front and back designs on one mock-up together, all right? If you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that noti bell, man, so every time I make a new video, you guys will be the first one to know about it, all right? This is your boy Mario, co-founder and designer for Fly Hippie, and I'm up out of here. Peace!